On excessively hot days, as people looking to beat the heat flocked to High Rocks and Gladstone. Tuesday was no different. We found plenty of people leaping into the Clackamas River. It's cold, but it feels like really good because it's like, I don't know how hot it is out right now, like 96. Mariah Green will tell you she's a regular at the popular swimming hole. I come here pretty much every day and I haven't seen anybody even get hurt yet this year, so that's pretty good. An observation confirmed by Sergeant Nate Thompson, who we rode along with as he patrolled the Clackamas and Willamette Rivers. He says several factors have contributed to less drownings this year. We had a little bit lower water, a little bit warmer water. We didn't have as much cold, uh, swift runoff. But Thompson says don't let that give you a false sense of security. There are hidden dangers, he adds, that lurk beneath the surface of the water. All these rivers and lakes and to have a very uneven bottom. They can have drop-offs that uh, appear suddenly. A recipe for disaster for the not-so-strong swimmers. I've never jumped off the big rock just because people get hurt off there. Back at High Rocks, Mariah Green plays it safe, knowing even hotter days lie ahead. Oh yeah, I'll probably be here tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Sergeant Nate Thompson says he's been on a lot of drowning calls over the course of his career. He says in all but one or two of them, the victim was not wearing a life jacket. Bottom line, he says, wear a life jacket. It can save your life. He also wants you to know that he's seen a number of people struggling in the water who are wearing denim. He says that is not a good idea. Denim weighs you down and can drag you under the water. Laurel, back to you. Okay, life jackets, no denim. Thank you.